All right, well, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the warp function in Ableton and uh, how we can use that to raise or lower the uh, key of our all our individual wave files so we can you know, help out our singers or whatever situation we need to raise or lower the key for. So we're going to use the song Overcome by Elevation as an example here. Now we normally do this song in the key of G. We've lowered it from the original, but in this case we want to bring it back up to the original key, uh, to the key of A, to help out our singer. So there are two pieces of information we'll need to know uh, to do this. One is that we need to um, know the, how many semitones it is, or how many half steps it is between the key that we have here and the new key. So we're going from G to A. So a little bit of music theory, we just need to know that um, A is two half steps above G, or two semitones above G. And that's a whole nother video. I uh, can't really go into that here right now, but um, that we just need to know that. The other thing we need to know is what the tempo is, the tempo of the song, the BPM. So we know in this case it's going to be 80. Okay. You can also find that information on Planning Center too, or you can also click on the tempo bar, and it will show you down here. Okay, so what we need to do is go through each individual track and uh, change the key. Now, for your drums and some a lot of your percussion effects, unless it's creating like a real note sound, then you probably don't need to change it. So in this case, we don't really need to we don't need to do the drums and the loop stuff because it's not really creating real tone. We're gonna start with the bass. Okay, so we'll solo this bass guitar here. You can hear it. Okay, there we go. So now what we what we need to do is we'll, we click on the wave file, and when we do, this opens up here, so we can uh, go into some details about the uh, wave file. What we want to do first is click the warp button, and then you'll see this all mapped out here. You want to make sure that the BPM for this SEG or segment BPM is at the correct tempo, which in this case 80. And then we want to go down here and choose complex. And the next step we want to do is this transpose button. We already talked about how A is two semitones above G. So to go to A, we just kind of move our mouse to two, two semitones. You can also type it in two, I believe. Yeah, you can also type it into if that's you know, easier. So we do that. Now we listen to it. And we have raised the key. We'll do that one more time. Let's do it with the synth bass. Same thing. We go, we click on the uh, WAV file. This opens up here. We click warp to turn on the warp function. Make sure that the segment BPM is set for 80 in this case, the tempo of the song. We choose complex, we go to the transpose button, and dial it to two. And we're set. And you just keep doing that one more time for each track. Uh, I'll show you the acoustic here. Uh, acoustic, we click on it. Here we go. Choose the warp. Yep, make sure it says 80. Choose complex, go to transpose, and then two and uh, that is it once we finish that then the all the tracks will be in the key that we need to, to be in in this case the key of a so I uh, hope that helps uh, once you learn how to use it it can come in handy especially if you have to change stuff you know fairly quickly so uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you